Welcome to part five of Drill Dozer, and we are still at the uh, art museum. We're still trying to get the drill, uh, uh, not the drill, but we're still trying to get the diamond, the red diamond that's rumored that's supposed to be here. And we're still dealing with these cops who have no idea what they're doing. Feel bad for them still, but you know what? That's just that. And we're going through this little um, thing here that we have to crouch down and use our drill for so we're doing that right now and how are you folks doing today today's a bit of a short part because um, just go ahead and finished off the art museum before we head off to new ventures now if I didn't mention this before I'm gonna mention it now this game has uh, six six areas to explore it's that seems short but each area is you know it gets progressively longer and longer so yeah even though six don't seem like nothing it is for like a gba game as far as like this thing is just oh man this thing this game is just packed full of um extra stuff too like after you beat the game i've already explained some stuff that uh that you can do after you beat the game but there's some other stuff like uh, bonus stages and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to uh, exactly do that. I may or may not uh, at this point. That's still kind of undetermined if I'm going to do that. So right here we're dealing with, in case you haven't noticed before, the um, the pictures where you uh, have to move from one space to another in order to solve puzzles and stuff like that. But right now what I'm looking for is a way to figure out how many rotations I have to crank that little shaft thing right there and my dumb butt didn't recognize that it was up here on the second bookshelf so there's a diary in there and it's gonna tell you how many times you have to rotate the uh, for the vault so six to the left one to the right twelve to the left and that seems like a a handful six <laughs> six to the left one to the right twelve to the left if I remember that correctly so gonna go ahead this they I guess they had to say the uh, the last one to be the longest one to do so I'm going ahead and doing that right now as you can see and this one is I just decided to you know what to make it quicker just use that uh, gear 3 shift to in order to make it go around 12 times and counting each time each rotation so and with that we are inside the vault folks the vault has opened up for us so and now we have to actually open the vault after doing all those crank shafts we have to actually get to the vault and open it itself so yep we cracked the lock uh go and see what's inside what's waiting for us inside so yeah uh, um i'm going to pretty much just make my way back there now and me having another stupid moment decided you know what this wall looks breakable i'm gonna try to break it but i can't get past it so i'm gonna just go the opposite way where i need to go so right now uh man this dog again that like i stated before the best way to deal with this <laughs> he's stuck good the best way to deal with this but yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of him since he's stuck but yeah the best way to get rid of him is either not engaging him in combat or just do what i did earlier and don't forget to collect your sweet sweet chips for you can go and upgrade your stuff with so yeah and also uh, for you to pretty much use a continue in case you end up kicking the bucket um, there are health upgrades that you can use to prevent that and you'll be able to get it at the shop if I haven't mentioned anything about the shop before so these air ducts if I'm um, I think I remember you know mentioned this before well I haven't really but you're gonna hate them later on because they look like you know harmless right now you're like hey yeah I can but you mastering your drill in this game is they they really want you to do it and they really want you to master it fast so if you're not quite the quick learner this game is going to challenge you up on that or you probably better off playing something else still is choice but I don't recommend you know playing something else if you could get through the trials I mean come on I told you folks this took me like five times to try to record and what I mean by five times is me actually recording footage for the game and scrapping it because I uh, get frustrated in you know recording 
uh, like if, it, you know, I was stuck on a certain boss, and that boss gave me a hard time enjoying the game, so, uh, me being frustrated, and I should have kept the game, like the footage I had, but I didn't do so, like an idiot, uh, I could have been, I could have put it on a, you know, hard drive, I do have an external hard drive, so I should have put the game info on there, what I say, and you know what, if I felt like coming back to this game, I should have been like, you know what, you know, I feel like giving this game another crack, let me go ahead and get the footage off the hard drive, and maybe i continue from there, but nope, my dumb self didn't do that, so I had to start over from the beginning, which I don't mind as much, but I have to start over from the beginning in order to, you know, get the footage from the boss what I need to get from. But anyway, this guy right here, oh man, you can consider this guy to be a mini boss of sorts. Uh, he's very annoying. What you have to do is you have to bait him into using his drill to get it stuck. And then when he removes his claw, he'll look around, you know, to try to find where you are. And the best thing to do is when he does that like that, you just drill his eyes. And you do that till he explodes. So, yeah, I actually forgot for a while how to take down this guy. So, we're going to be here for a little minute. Just a little bit. You can see that little health bar above there. I'm not doing enough damage as I should because I'm not getting the timing of this guy right. So, I'm keep, I keep messing up. And once you drill into him and you release your drill, kind of like how I was doing... Then that's kind of it for that phase. So yeah, this is it. That's all you have to do. I already got him down to like half of his health. So just basically, just keep doing, you know, what I'm doing. Just not as bad, and you'll be, <laughs> and you'll be okay. As far as like, I don't. They should have saved this guy until a later part uh, of the game. But you know, that's that's just the. There we go. Good drillage. There we go. Ah oh, man, I thought that was gonna be it. He just have a sliver. Of health left and then that's it that should do it yeah there we go you utter waste of time that thing is a uh, piece of garbage waste of uh, waste of time but you know what it's just whatever and as always they give you a you know health restore when you're dealing with something like that so that's uh, actually pretty generous of them to do but that no that can only mean that um, you know something big is coming up and got these drills here and we're ready to roll we should be at the entrance of the there we go we're at the entrance of the vault so now we can actually open this thing up and see what's inside so we can pretty much just get whatever we need and we can get out and go to the next area that's waiting ahead for us we just gotta press B to actually get into the vault and oh man look at all that gold Man, if I had a room, just any size room, with that amount of just gold in there, oh man, like, I'll be gone. Like, <laughs> I'll just be, like, on some remote island. But there's the uh, diamond right there, but it's not ours. It's a different color. It's yellow. So the police uh, detective Carey is acting strange because of the yellow diamond is kind of a... Uh, possessing possessing her a little bit so yeah she's kind of not you know she's not herself right now so we pretty much gotta you know destroy her robot and knock her out you know pretty much knock her out of it so yeah this um if you know what you're doing this battle can be really easy um unfortunately this battle has two phases within it so this is the first phase right here so yeah pretty much if you have full health you know coming out of this battle you'll be okay for the remaining of the battle but yeah this thing is tricky and if you get caught by the cuffs just drill your way out and you'll be fine but you gotta hurry before she attacks you like that so you won't you know end up getting hit like i just did so yeah if you end up getting caught just power drill your way out and you'll be go uh you'll be fine just uh try to you know get in she won't always throw uh those handcuffs the way she been doing as you may have noticed so you just gotta be wary of her patterns and once you do i think you'll be okay i don't know if there like any set order to the pattern i'm just kind of going with like instant right here because 
I was nervous on her, you know, the way she was throwing it. See, it came back like that. And sometimes it comes back and sometimes it don't. So, just be careful and I'm pretty sure you'll be just fine with this battle as far as, like, uh, everything goes. But, anyway, um, just going off a small little tangent right quick. It, man, this week has been kind of uh, chaotic for me. And by this week, I'm just talking about... During the time of this recording, it's just been, you know, chaos after another, things not going right, um, and all that jazz, but <laughs> she's, uh, being a little creative there with her machine, and this is phase two, but, you know what, I believe in, whenever you're having something, like, if you have a bad day, you're gonna get an equally good day, or maybe possibly even greater day, so... You know, it's all good. You just have to... And the cops are popping out of the gold uh, stacks that was there. Man, they letting that gold go to waste. But if you avoid them and just focus on her, then the battle's going to go a lot smoother. Uh, trust me. Because if you just focus on them, these guys, she's going to get the opportunity to just attack you, like, without mercy. So... Uh, once you do attack her, they'll go away after a while, and they're just obstacles, but, yep, with that, she is defeated, the explosion, I told you folks to get used to that, and, but she's, she's not, um, dead or anything, she's right there, actually, and I think she's back to her senses now that the yellow diamond, you know, not, yeah, see, she's coming around, she don't, she don't even know what happened, so, we're just gonna go ahead and take this diamond for ourselves. And it'll probably be in better hands than letting somebody, um, somebody else take it. But, yep, that's not the diamond that we were looking for. We got a yellow one instead, so we're just going to keep that and see where it goes. So, we're still on the hunt for our diamond. That's still in the hands of Grog, I believe. That's the main guy's name. So, yeah, our adventures are eventually going to land us to him, but we're going to be finding many other things along the way. So, yep, we're uh, back in the trailer, safe and sound. And they're talking about uh, what's gotten into Detective Carrie and why she was acting the way she was acting for. So, yeah, they're kind of confused on, you know, why do you have the yellow diamond and ours is red? So, there's a possibility of more diamonds being out there but we'll explore that in the next part so you folks have a fantastic day and take care